for the last couple of days, all I have heard, why, Jay? Why'd you do it? Why did you and Finn turn on Buzz? Well, it's simple. There would be no Buzz if it wasn't for me and Finn. He wouldn't have achieved anything without us. When he was on SmackDown, he used me to get to the top. He didn't beat Nakamura in the Dome in Japan. He stole it from me. He didn't beat John Cena in a submission match. He used the calf crusher that he begged me to teach him. Then when he came to Raw, he was lost without AJ. So he became my burden. I had to bail him out week after week. And I was the reason he found his inner demon. He would have never gotten past Bray Wyatt, let alone beat Braun Strowman for the Universal title if it wasn't for me. But did I get any credit? No. Then we put everything aside to help him take on Evolution, and what do we get in return? Nothing. Do you see a trend here? It's always about Buzz. He gets the spotlight. He gets the credit. He gets the title shot. Not us. He was never going to give us anything. So we had to take it. Buzz, people love to rattle off all your so-called accomplishments and talk about how you have had the fastest rise in history to the top of WWE. Well, your biggest accomplishment is still to come when you main event WrestleMania and you lose to the phenomenal AJ Styles. And this time, there is no one to bail you out. You're all on your own. Yeah, the only friend he still has had his brain scrambled by Bray Wyatt and hasn't been seen since. So I don't think he'll be much help. No, he won't. Now, with that being said, I kind of figured that you people might not understand why we did what we did. So I arranged a very special guest tonight who can attest to everything I just said. Because Buzz selfishly used him to get to the top just like he did to us. So let's bring him out here. Ladies and gentlemen, Buzz's former mentor, Baron Blade. I don't think AJ Styles could get any lower after what he did to Buzz, but he somehow has by bringing out Baron Blade. We haven't seen or heard anything from him since he was revealed as the masked attacker in the match against Buzz in NXT. I wouldn't have shown my face anywhere after that either. He certainly looks like he's had a rough year. I think that's just how he looks. <laughs> Thanks for coming out here tonight, Baron. Can you tell everyone how Buzz used you to get to the top? Then he left you a broken man. I mean, he cost you everything, didn't he? No one will work with you anymore. You've lost your indie promotion, your house. All because of Buzz. That's not exactly how everything went down, AJ. I was the one who attacked Buzz after his tryout match and cost him his shot at WWE. None of that other stuff would have happened if I hadn't done that. Uh, hold on. What are you saying? Don't you want to talk about all the terrible things Buzz did to you? I mean, how he left your life in shambles? I'm sorry, but I can't stand out here and bury my former protege. Not a day goes by where I don't wish that I could take back my actions and honestly, I deserve everything that's happened to me because of it. I didn't buy you a plane ticket so you could come out here and tell everyone how great Buzz is. This wasn't the deal we had. If I had told you how I really felt, I would have never gotten this opportunity to speak the truth. What you and Finn Balor did to Buzz was far worse than anything I did. At least I had good intentions. So I just want to say I couldn't be prouder of everything Buzz has accomplished. And I can't wait to see him beat you at WrestleMania and take back his Universal title. I think I've heard just about enough out of you. Not expecting. 
expecting to do something. Maybe there's hope for these two after all. has obviously decided he's not interested in reuniting with Baron Blade. It was one thing for him to save his former mentor, but it might have been a step too far to expect forgiveness. You might be wondering why Finn is out here tonight with a gift. Well, it's not for me. It's actually for someone we had some battles with recently. No, it's not for Buzz either. His gift is coming at WrestleMania when I give him the gift of defeat. This present is actually for Triple H. So, Triple H, if you wouldn't mind, come out here so we can give this to you. What could this possibly be all about? I know it's not a birthday gift. Triple H's birthday is in July. Why would you know that? No story. I just want to say, we may have had some differences recently. But that was due to being caught up in Buzz's selfishness. We have clear heads now, right, Finn? Much clearer. So just to make sure we're cool, we got you this gift. Go ahead, take it. They got him a referee shirt? We even cut off the sleeves so you can show off your guns. What's this all about? Well, we were thinking, since you really don't like Buzz, we're positive you want to do everything in your power to guarantee he doesn't get the Universal title. You could be the special guest referee at WrestleMania. So what do you think? I think that's a great idea. All right, yes! Buzz is no stranger to adversity, but he's got a tough road ahead of him if he wants to regain his title. Well, let's be honest, guys. The road he's on is headed for a dead end. Tonight at WrestleMania, Buzz walks alone onto the grandest stage of them all to try to regain his Universal title. Try is the key word here, because I know he's overcome long odds before, but I just don't see that happening tonight, especially with Triple H as the guest referee. with no backup was a huge risk for Buzz. Well, maybe he should have made more friends along the way. Oh, That's Cole Quinn. We haven't seen him in months. Now Buzz has some backup. He did it. He did it. Against all odds, he's risen from the ashes to regain his Universal title. Enjoy this moment, Buzz, because you're
dreams are now a reality. Respect from Triple H. We have truly seen it all. I think I'm going to be sick. I know I've been critical of him in the past, but he earned every bit of this tonight through hard work and perseverance. Congratulations, Buzz.